I'm Dr. Amanda Pesos, an equine chiropractor, and I'm going to explain the different parts of the horse's spine today. The neck is the cervical spine. The horse's neck has the cervical spine in it. There's seven cervical vertebrae, and the cervical spine goes from the back of the horse's head through the pole, and then it makes an S curve down the neck here, and it goes back behind the scapula at the base of the neck. The thoracic spine starts here underneath the scapula, and it go, the vertebrae are very deep in the horse. They're about this far down from the withers inside the horse's body between the shoulder blades, and it goes from the middle of the scapula back to the end of the rib cage right here. The lumbar spine goes from the back of the rib cage to the sacrum. The sacrum is a big triangular bone right here at the base of the spine. Between each vertebrae of the spine, there are a number of joints. There are 133 joints. Between each vertebrae in the horse's spine, there are a number of different joints. The entire spine has 133 joints in it. For your horse to be supple and move well and move equally right to left, all of those 133 joints have to be moving well. As a chiropractor, what I do is make sure that all those joints are moving as well as they can, and if some of them aren't, if there's are certain joints that have a fixation and aren't moving as well as they should, I restore motion to those joints. I'm Dr. Amanda Pesos, an equine chiropractor. You can find my contact information at www dot equinemovement dot com